Hello, I'm Kimberly Helkett in Washington. These are the main stories brought to you by Al Jazeera. Days of clashes in southern Kyrgyzstan have prompted an exodus into neighboring Uzbekistan. Roughly 100,000 ethnic Uzbeks have fled the country since the latest rioting began on Friday. At least 120 people have died in the violence, with thousands more injured. The UN's human rights chief is calling on Uzbekistan to keep its borders open. The U.S. president has promised residents of the Gulf of Mexico that he is committed to preserving their way of life. Speaking on the first day of a two-day trip to the states hit by the oil spill, Barack Obama said seafood from the region is safe to eat. Meanwhile, the oil giant BP shares plunged more than 9 percent in London on Monday as its directors discussed delaying the payment of $2 billion in profits to shareholders. In Mexico, 10 police officers have been killed in the city of Sitahuaro. Authorities say suspected drug cartel gang members ambushed a police convoy. And in a separate incident, officials say 17 inmates were shot dead during a riot at a prison in the city of Mazatlan. Colombian troops have freed a fourth senior military hostage who'd been held captive by FARC rebels for 12 years. On Sunday, elite troops rescued three other officers, including General Luis Mendieta, the soldiers were flown back to the capital of Bogota earlier on Monday. The rescue operation comes a week before the second round of Colombia's presidential elections when voters pick a successor to Alvaro Uribe. Iraq's newly elected lawmakers have been sworn in during the new parliament's inaugural session. The body convened for just under 20 minutes. Iraq's government has been in deadlock since general elections in March resulted in no clear winner. Former Prime Minister Iyad Alawi's secular Iraqi list is vying with the newly formed Shia-dominated National Alliance for the right to form a government. Church groups in Kenya have accused the government of involvement in two explosions at a political rally. At least six people were killed, more than 100 wounded, when explosions happened at an anti-abortion protest. And those are the top stories. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with all of your news on our website, aljazeera.net forward slash English.